Okay. So, so far so good. And now we will calculate this one. We will do quick calculation. Okay. To, to, to perform the separator quick calculation. Now we can click this one. But first, in the well stream, we select face envelope or this one, flash through separator stages. Okay, we will perform flash and you can change the Peng Robinson or Sofa Redick Wong. But in this case, we will press calculate. Okay, in the window, we will press this calculate button okay to perform separation or separator calculation click okay so you have this pressure and temperature you have now the gor total gor oil density based on the equation of state and oil density based on the standing and cuts correlation oil 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 gravity gas gravity and so on and so forth okay now from the results it can be seen that the eos this one and standing cuts density are in agreement quite close 818 this one is 815.5 okay and for this one at zero psig oil density from equation of state it is 832 and 828 from standing and cuts. And then what about the GOR? GOR also quite match. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. The calculated first stage GOR is slightly high. Okay, if you go back to the report, the GOR is actually 661. Okay, but the result is currently quite high, 710. Okay, by the way, the error is still within 10%. So maybe it can be acceptable, okay? Yeah, maybe for for some people it it is not acceptable, but arguably we can say it is quite acceptable, okay? Now we can press exit to return to the cal quick calculation menu, okay? All right. So you can see we have face envelope, okay? We have critical point, saturation pressure at reference condition. In this quick calculation menu, we can select face envelope and press calculate button. All right. Okay, so this is the, the current, based on the current progress that we've made is, this is the face envelope, okay? You see the critical temperature, critical pressure, this one, Cricondon term, Cricondon bar. Okay. We are still in well stream. Okay. All right. So from here, we can click this one. Okay. And then in the window that opens, we will enter the saturation pressure at the known temperature. Okay, if you go back to the help menu, so the saturation and, and you see the data, so the, the saturation condition, okay, is 185 in temperature and the pressure is okay. All right, stream. Well, stream, show test point on plot, of course. Yes. Click OK. Here. OK, so you see the saturation condition is plotted exactly match with the face envelope. 
Okay. All right. Again, the calculated saturation pressure is quite close to the reported laboratory value. Okay. Do we have zoom? No, currently. But you see, roughly, they match quite well. Okay. Between the calculated, the red line, and the data, the gr the green cross. Okay. Saturation pressure is to the left of the critical point. Okay, at the left side, and this and thus describes the bubble point pressure. Of course, it's quite easy. So this is the critical point. Okay, critical point, and yeah, critical temperature is this, and critical pressure is this. Cre condensed term, eight hundred. This this line, cre cre condensed bar, two seven eight three. This this line, horizontal line, and this is the saturation pressure. Okay, so again, this saturation pressure is actually bubble point pressure because, again, this is an example for oil characterization. Okay, so we will return to the pseudo prop screen. Okay, so we will click exit and then exit again. Okay, so again, this is the pseudo component screen.